Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to a new game of StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. Today we're gonna take a look at one of the best Zerg vs Zerg players in the entire freaking world. It's going to be none other than Starkill Life. Spawning as the Red Zerg in the bottom left corner of this map called Star Station, if I'm not mistaken. And um, yeah, it's going to be a really high level Zerg vs Zerg. And his opponent for this game is going to be none other the Liquid TLO, also one of the better Zerg players in the world right now. He's actually been performing ridiculously well over the last few weeks especially. And this is actually the games that they played at DreamHack about a week and a half or two weeks or so back. Um, that actually wasn't broadcast. When you take a look like right here, there's actually no caster right here. So this game did not get casted whatsoever because both players were already kind of elim eliminated from the tournament if I'm not mistaken at this point. Um, however, they still needed to play a few games probably to determine the 6th and 7th or 4th and 5th, I don't know, I don't know any of the specifics guys, but it is a really high level Zerg with the Zerg, and uh, I personally haven't seen the games just yet, I heard they were really good from other players, or from other uh, people rather, and, and of course, you know, it's gonna be one of the highest level Zerg vs Zerg that you can pretty much find right now in StarCraft 2. So let's have a look. It looks like Liquid TLO is opening up with a 15 spawning pool, or 14 spawning pool rather, where his opponent went for a really, really, really early spawning pool. It looks like this is going to be either a 9 or a 10 pool. They didn't really see the specifics on it, but he also got a really quick gas as a follow-up. So Star to Life is opening up a little bit of a cheesy build order. He obviously will need to do some sort of damage in Instantly starting to create uh, six Zerglings and he's going to use those Zerglings to instantly run them across the map. Now obviously, oh as you can see, actually Star to Alive is throwing down a bailing nest with one of the drones that he pulled out of the gas guys. So this means that he's gonna go for a little bit of bailing aggression really really early on in the game. Now let's have a look at what TLO has to defend against this. He did go for the spawning pool early on and he did go for a hatchery as a follow up so he might end up having to console this hatchery. But for now, Liquid TLO is going to start his queen. I don't think he actually... Did he see that? Did, did they, I, I think they probably did run by this overlord, but I don't know if Liquid TLO will have enough time. Yes, he's actually going to once again cancel the gas geyser. Is he going to opt to start a spine crawl or not? He's actually doing it a little bit risky because he knows that this stuff is incoming, right? Yeah, he actually sees that the Zerklings are at his natural right now. Did he already see the baneling being morphed in as well? He might have heard the sound at least. So he is going to be starting up the spine crawler now. A little bit of an engagement going off right here, but Liquid TLO might end up up having to console and being forced to cancel the hatchery but of course that is the minimum amount of damage that life has to do if life does not do enough damage with this he will just straight up lose the game now as you can see he is researching metabolic boost right now as well but here we go actually TLO is going to cancel out the hatchery and run by with circlings is he really going to use a run by instead of just going for the engagement and defending his main base? It does look like it. Life is going to follow him with two Zerg, but here we go. They are already fighting in the main base as well. There is one bailing that he might be able to take care of, but it looks like ST Life is going to pull back for now. Liquid Zero instantly uprooting his spine crawler and his second spine crawler as well to put them in a little bit of a more defensive position. And he's also going to actually have two queens out right now to defend against it, but here we go, the Zerglings of Liquid TLO are across the map right now, but it looks like Life cleverly making a little bit of a wall of right there with Zerglings to make sure that Liquid TLO will not be able to get into main base just yet. Or maybe not at all. Obviously, Zergly Speed will be finishing up really, really soon for our red Zerg player. So, I think he is going to be forced to at least, like, let those Zerglings die. Or at least try and let them trade a little bit efficiently. But there we go. Liquid Tiolo does manage to get a nice little scout off into the main base of his opponent right now. He recognizes only one gas geyser. But Zergly Speed is finishing up right now. Will start till life. Make a run for the main base. It looks like he does decide to turn around. And he maybe will get a calls on his head. Hatchery. But here we go, the first queen is out. Will he get a surround on the first queen? He does get a surround on that queen. So that queen is rapidly falling. A few Zerglings also running to that death in that one lowly bailing nest and it, or that one lowly bailing. It does look actually no console right there by Liquid TLO. That is a solid 300 minerals that got wasted right there. And also these spine crawlers are uprooting right now, trying to get a little bit of more surface area. Liquid TLO might be able to fend this off just barely. And it does look like he does 
do it for now. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, life is taking his own natural. He is starting his second queen right now as well. Still having only one drone mining and gas, but here we go. There are a lot of Zerglings right now on the map for Liquid TLO. His Zergling speed is about to be finished up. A nice little detonation right there, but it's not going to be enough uh, for life. So it does look like Liquid TLO, even though he missed the console once on his hatchery, he will not be forced to console this once again. Now it does look like life recognizes the threat of the situation and he recognizes how many Zerglings are up for Liquid TLO. So he does decide to actually make a few banelings um, or a few Zerglings at home. He already has a few banelings to be sure that he will be able to hold the speed of Liquid TLO and Liquid TLO is going to be pushing him right now. Will we walk into the banelings? No, he actually is on top of his Zergling control. He recognizes, oh my God, there's too many Zerglings out right now by for my opponent. So he will not be able to fight really costly efficiently but here we go will the baneling get a nice detonation off liquid tlo is trying to micro the best as he can but it looks like so far both players are going up relatively even to each other now it does look like liquid tlo did manage to get both of his spine crawlers to the low ground um so he will be able to defend everything quite easily whereas of course ST Life. Uh, does he have his own spine crawler up? No, I highly doubt he does. Nope, no spine crawler edge whatsoever. And also a little bit of a more aggressive position right now for um, ST Life. But here we go. Life is once again going to be pushing him. But nice bailing detonation for Liquid TLO. Actually, doesn't does manage to get by with a few Zerglings, getting one drone picked off so far. But it doesn't really look like it is too too much. Now let's have a look at the total workers killed. Only two workers killed so far for ST Life. So I would honestly say that it is. Not the biggest advantage that he can possibly have at this point. Let's have a look at the income tab. Um, it actually does look like Liquid TLO is, you know, he's actually, um, ST Live is already catching up again, but it is uh, relatively even in the income tab. Of course, ST Live wanted to do, or at least have it a little bit in his favor, because he was obviously investing a lot into a lot of early aggression, but it does look like that was not going to be enough. Now, looks like both players have agreed to have at least a little bit of a stalemate, where they will be able to drone up a little bit. Liquid TLO does manage to get a full scout right now off the main base. Will he be able to see what is coming out of those eggs? Nope, he does not see that all these uh, Zerglings are once again almost being morphed. Does look like Star to Life decides to go for the double evolution chamber play. And honestly, he is our, uh, funnily in love. He's actually going for the missile attack upgrade plus one, which is kind of uncommon. Whereas his opponent, Liquid TLO, is going for the plus one plus one for the Zerglings. Star to Life is getting his um, Roach upgrade. But here we go, Liquid TLO is going to try and get the third base up. Um, and it does look like he will be able to, even though he got delayed slightly by his opponent. But of course, what does the plus one plus one mean? Mean? Well, it means that Liquid TLO will be able to take at least two hits of all the um, of all the bailings that are up from ST Life as soon as plus one armor finishes. Now it does look like TLO is a little bit early to the party, and there is also a full wall of right now for Star to Life because he was does not want the bailings of TLO in his mineral line. But there are a lot right now for Liquid TLO. Will he be pushing in? He is actually going to be pushing in right now already, right before his upgrades finish. And I'm not completely sure if that was the smartest decision right now. Does look like Liquid TLO does have a few Zerglings in the back waiting for the Banings to be detonated. And they are all detonated right now. But was that worth it? I actually highly doubt it because he wasted a lot on trying to get down that wall. But it didn't end up working whatsoever. Now it does look like Liquid Tilo is going to keep on with the aggressive posture. He is once again going to be right there, but it looks like the roaches right now are out for Star to Life, and they will be plenty to patch back the Zerglings of Liquid Tilo for now. But of course, if Star to Life moves out a little bit too far, Liquid Tilo might just run by with all his Zerglings. They go for the main base and will kill every drone before anything reasonable happens. But here we go, once again, going to go for a little bit of aggression. The plus one plus one is finished up right now for liquid tlo where are the roaches are still at plus zero plus zero because liquid tlo did manage to kill both of the extractors that were um, actually researching the upgrades and uh, that is actually quite a little bit of a big deal right now because that means liquid tlo's units are relatively strong co 
compared to his opponents. Now, if you would imagine starting a life with plus one, plus one on these roaches right now, I think he would start to get a lot more aggressive because then it means that these earthlings will not be easily killable or will not be able to easily kill those roaches whatsoever. But now the Cotillo has a rather big upgrade advantage. It might not be that way, but here we go. He's once again going to be moving out. I guess he saw those over... Yes, this overlord actually spotted the roaches from running by. Once again, doing a little bit of back and forth moving um, by um, Star to Alive right now, but actually Liquid Tiolo running into all of these roaches, not getting too much done with his plus one, plus one upgrade just yet. And it looks like Star to Alive is having the superior army count right now, also having the superior supply count, whereas Liquid Tiolo, of course, has the third base mining. So Star to Alive is somewhat forced to do at least something right now with this gigantic army that he has, but will it be enough? Because Liquid Tiolo already started producing his own army. So here we go, it looks like Sartre Life is going to go in for a little bit of aggression. Plus one attack is finishing up right now and Liquid TLO is getting the full surround on all of the roaches that ST Life has up right now. Doing a nice little bit of micro with the bailings as well, exploding in the middle of all these roaches. And it does look like Liquid TLO will be able to hold this. Now remember, he did have the third base up mining for much, much longer than his opponents. So this means that Star Tail Life is a little bit behind. Of course, his own third base is finishing up right now but if we take a look at the income tab it is actually slightly in favor of star to life right now but it was in favor for the longest time for liquid TLO. however when we take a look at the supply count it is still relatively even it can be anyone's game it looks like oh, a, a little bit of a straight road truck right just chilling at the watchtower and it does look like start to life almost was able to pick it off so at this point it becomes ridiculously hard to predict what is going on now Liquid TLO is on Lair Tech right now, so he might be able to get something done. But it looks like Start of Life is going to be the one that is going to be aggressive. 14 roaches on the production map right now. He, of course, also has a few roaches on the other side of the map, just l greedily looking at the other roaches, willing to kill them. Whereas Liquid TLO is going to be, you know, droning up a little bit harder. He is going to start producing Hydralisk right now. Um, and those might be able to do a lot. Of course, Hydralisk out DPS roaches quite heavily. But if you're on too many Hydralisk, that means that the roaches will just be able to kill you because, you know, they basically melt right away. But here we go. It looks like all the roaches for Star to Life are moving across the map right now, as well as two banings that he somehow, some way, still had. And he is going to try and pick a little bit of engagement. Now, keep in mind, there will be Hydralisk out. There will also be a spy crawlers helping out Liquid CLO. So there might not be much that our Steel Life can do. And it maybe even looks like he recognizes the situation before he even goes in there and he decides to turn straight around um, with the roaches that he has. Now it looks like Start to Life is actually investing into investors, whereas opponent Liquid TLO has the Hydralisk up. Now this is a little bit of a weird trade-off because technically the investors should be better, but you will need to hit a lot of nice fungal. So we will see how it's gonna go and how this final battle that is gonna commence any time right now is gonna go and in whose favor this is gonna go. Now, Star Till Life is actually finishing a plus two uh, attack right now, not having the plus two armor just yet, deciding that he only wants to upgrade one upgrade instead of two of them. Whereas his opponent, Liquid TLO, is still on plus one, plus one, only just now starting the plus two, plus two. Well, they are about halfway done, both of them, but they will not be able to finish up before he gets on the other side of the map. Now, both players are near maxing out, so they will need to pick a nice engagement. So the concave right here is going to be absolutely crucial. Whoever gets the better engagement right here will win the game and it does look like sick fungal going down right there second fungal going down as well by star to life and he has a gigantic concave as you can see he picks off all the units from liquid tlo and liquid tlo is rapidly dropping in supply there's very little that liquid tlo could do right there because the fungal was just keeping him stuck behind all his army the army that he had couldn't really engage properly whatsoever because a small group of roaches and hydro did get a little bit over eager and they did step forward just a little bit too much of course he's going to be waiting for his investors right now and if star to life gets a nice fungo off once again it might mean that he will win the game and he does get a sick fungo off once again a few roaches from the top however there are a few spine crawlers right now as well for liquid tlo and they might be able to help out at least slightly a few investors running through their death but it does look like Star to Life 
has the bigger army right now and liquid TLO GG's out of this game one. Let's jump into game number two.